Hi guys, welcome back to Fairies Tutorials. Now, last time we did a video, we did it on diet related health problems, where we look at terms such as lifestyle, healthy lifestyle, and also lifestyle diseases. Now, those diseases that we looked at, we just touched the surface for you to understand what they really are. But guess what? This video will serve as an introduction to a series of videos to come. Those episodes will include the different types of nutrition related disorders, what they are, the symptoms, treatment, and so much more. But guess what? In today's video, we'll be starting with overweight and obesity. Stay tuned. guys we're still on module one which is diet and health and we're now at content three where we'll be exploring the different types of diet related health problems now in today's session we'll be looking at overweight and obesity we'll be looking at what it is causes prevention all right let's go now, in order for us to fully understand what is taking place, we have to define these concepts, right? So we're going to look at a definition for overweight and obesity, and also a definition for body mass index, properly known as BMI. Let's go. All right, now, what is overweight and obesity? These may be defined as a condition in which excess fat has accumulated to the extent that it may have a negative effect on health, leading to reduced life expectancy and or increased health problems. Now, let us put it in perspective. So overweight and obesity refers to the condition where we have what? Excess body fat, and it negatively affects one's health, leading to reduced life expectancy. So, so some persons may die earlier than expected, or they may battle with chronic diseases, all because they are obese. No. Now guys, know that know that we know what obesity and overweight are. Let us now look at how obesity affects your life or of affects the life of someone who is obese, right? Now, the first one we're seeing here is heart attack, right? Heart attack, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, arthritis, and you may find out that these diseases that I'm naming, they're also considered as nutrition related problems, or we may say lifestyle diseases, right? Low life expectancy, as we were discussing before, social discrimination, persons may want to tease them, low self-esteem, they feel like they don't worth, they don't love their bodies. Speaking about depression, joint problems, breathing problems, right? So all of these problems may affect someone who is obese. All right, now let us move on to causes of obesity. Causes, and based on this image that you're seeing here, you see we have a scale right here. On this side, it states, it says energy consumed in food and beverages and a balance between energy right so energy expended for basal needs activity and to process and digest food so when the, when there isn't a balance in the scale when we're eating too much and not exercising this is when persons become obese continuing now the fundamental cause of obesity and overweight is an energy imbalance between calories consumed and calories expended. Now, if there's an imbalance, if you're eating 
too much if you're eating and you're not exercising as much to burn those calories then that is the fundamental now guys let us look at some other causes of obesity right so the first one that we have here we have socioeconomic status now this refers to tell me what yes the amount of money that is available right so persons who are of high socioeconomic status may tend to buy a lot of junk food right and junk food are normally what normally fatty food good fatty foods right now built environment when we speak of built environment for instance say where you go to school versus where you live versus where you go to church you go to the library if all of those are in close proximity then you don't get a chance to walk as much to attend for these services right and therefore persons there's no little exercise that gets to take place there no physical inactivity and also persons who have a sedentary lifestyle remember a sedentary lifestyle is one that where no little or where little activity takes place so like for example an office worker right so you know they would have to sit for most of the day to do their type of work so these persons have to get their exercise in and also monitor the amount of calories that they consume similarly diet trends and habits no especially you little teenagers right adolescents sometimes you may be you may purchase based on what your friend is having good or for instance when we speak about trends so for example if everybody in the school buying chicken and chips or all of your friends buying chicken and chips chicken and chips is now trending right so everybody wants to eat the same thing and guess what consuming those types of food can also lead to you becoming obese we talk about genetic factors if you have a family history of persons who in your family who are obese or persons who would say well I'm, a, I'm from a big bone family so I'm gonna get fat and there's nothing I can do no no you have the responsibility so remember the fundament even though genetics is a cause of obesity you have to remember the fundamental cause of obesity right and the fundamental cause is what energy consumed versus energy expended so we have to balance the scale right is it we can't be eating all this much and we're just putting this much for exercise right we have to balance the scale so guess what you do not become obese how can you determine how fat a person is yes you can just hop on the scale and, and weigh right but guess what we have a accurate measurement which is for calculating your bmi and bmi stands for body mass index and it calculates how fat a person actually is so it tells you if you're underweight you have a normal weight you're overweight or you're obese now let us look in detail what is a bmi a bmi or body mass index is a simple guide for weight for height that is commonly used to classify underweight overweight and obesity now in order to calculate your bmi you must know your height and you must know your weight and what you would do is just to plot it on this chart that is here so for instance you're 5 7 and you weigh 160 pounds right let us see if we can find okay so we find 160 pounds here right and we're 5 7 so you're going across and you come from the 160 up here so so yellow would would indicate the color code yellow there would indicate that this person is overweight now you see blue stands for underweight green stands for healthy yellow stands for overweight uh, orange stands for obese and code red stands for extremely obese right now the as i said before the bmi determines how fat a person is so it classify you if you're underweight you have a healthy weight you're overweight or you are obese good now how can we prevent obesity what do you think 
Now, based on the fundamental cause of obesity, could you tell me how you can prevent obesity? Yes, you got it right. Now, eat healthy. Awesome. So have less meat and other, other fatty foods. Watch portions of food eaten and also to eat slowly and don't devour of food. When we speak of devour, you're eating fast, right? So when you eat slowly and you take time to chew your food, you find out that you eat less. But when you're extremely hungry, you're eating, oh my God, you're eating this burger, you're eating whatever meal that you're having and you can't wait to finish, you tend to eat more, right? Now, let us see now how you can reduce excess body fat. So number one, you have to limit the energy intake from fats and also from sugars. Because excess sugar, if you consume too much sugar, it is also stored as fat, right? So it, so you hence you may put on weight if you're consuming a lot of sugary foods as well. Now, increase consumption of fruits and vegetables. Now this fruits and vegetables would have a lot of fiber in there. I remember when we did the video on types of diet which contributes to good health and well-being. Remember a high fiber diet is one. And consuming fruits and vegetables, they are rich in fiber. Good. Hence, it will allow you to lose weight and also to prevent other types of lifestyle diseases or nutrition related health problems or we may say diet related health problems right and it is very important for you to engage in regular exercise also now we're at the activity you should be able to explain what is meant by the term overweight and obesity you should be able to discuss at least three impact of obesity on health you should be able to describe three causes of obesity and also to state what is the what is the most accurate measure of determining how fat a person is right you should be able to state three ways in which one can prevent obesity and also to suggest ways in which one can reduce excess body weight now how about putting these responses in the comment section all right awesome you've made it to the end of the video for more videos like these don't forget to subscribe to famous tutorial and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified when there's another video thank you for making it various tutorials